Hey guys, we're going to learn how to use the UI loader component that's uh, part of Flash's uh, list of components provided for us to uh, develop a little bit faster. Um, it's great for wireframing with components, uh, but in the real world environment, um, oftentimes you'll find that actually action scripting uh, the functionality uh, that's built into the component may work a little bit better for you. May not, uh, but the components are there. It makes us. Uh, uh, it saves some time for us, allows us to see our um, site in, in action a lot faster without having to mess with a lot of action script in the beginning. So at any rate, we're going to use a UI loader component. And first thing we need to do is drag it onto the stage. So we're going to choose um, Window. And we're going to open up our Components panel. And if yours are rolled up like that, you just go ahead and click that little triangle. It rolls it down under video. I'm sorry, under user interface. And it's toward the end here, UI loader. And just click and drag it onto the stage. You close out the components. And next thing we want to do is set this up to uh, receive a picture for us. Um, and we can do it two ways. We can do it through action script. We can tell this component what picture to load or we can, through our component inspector, tell it where the source file is. So we're going to do that way first. Um, no, we're not, because it's not giving me <laughs> my little uh, our oh, my little uh, magnifying glass to help me find the component the file. So we're not going to do that. <clears throat> so first thing we're going to do, uh, as with anything that's on the stage, we need to give it an instance name. call this loader. We're going to make a new layer and this is where our action script is going to be. Select that frame, go to our actions panel and we're going to type the loader dot source equals and you're going to need to find a JPEG image and make sure that the JPEG has no spaces in its name and that it's stored in the same folder as your UI loader.fla file. Um, the dot source, this is a uh, method of the loader class, the UI loader class. And when this is um, started, when you set something on source, um, it starts the uh, process of loading that image in um, right away. Um, and then we will see what it looks like up in our UI loader by just testing. So let's go ahead and save and command enter to test and look at that there's a little picture but I know that this picture actually is much larger than that. Well, what's happening is if I choose my UI loader that's on the stage and I go to my component inspector I actually see that oopsie I actually see that uh, scale content is set to true now what that means is that for that that component, whatever size this component is set at, the content that I load into it will scale to that size. So if I turn this off and set it to false, that means whatever content's loaded in will not be scaled to the dimensions of this component. And let's test that. Command Enter. Now you can see here's my picture, but I'm I'm off of the the stage here for sure, and it starts in this left corner, uh, kind of upper left corner, and you can see this corresponds with the upper left corner of where our UI loader component is actually placed on the stage. So if I want my UI loader to fill up this stage area but not go off of the stage, I need to set this back to true so that it scales with the size of the UI loader, and then I need to set my UI loader width and height to be the dimensions of my stage, which is 550 by 400. And then using my align panel <clears throat> with the UI loader selected, I make sure that two stage is enabled and I'll align it to the left. And you can see it goes over to the left there and I'll also align it to the top. So now it's right there in the middle of the stage. And now when I test my movie, my picture fills in this space. Now, we have it set to proportionately scale or maintain the aspect. So, if your image 
proportionally does not match the dimensions of the width and height dimensions of your stage, you're going to see that white bar either along the top and bottom or the left and the right. Now if we turn off maintain aspect ratio, we set it to false, that's going to disproportionately stretch the picture out. So it will fill the edges here, but what it's, being, what it's doing is it's actually stretching uh, the width of this picture to fill it out. So if you've got a, like a big head like mine, it's going to make it even look bigger, which is not ideal. So that is the UI loader component, and thank you.